there are some games one has to play with oneself. The first of them is first idea, best idea. Don't sit there and think about what I should I do, or is that good enough? Oh, f it, just do it. Just do it. It's really, really, really important. We are so deeply habituated to what we can do, can't do, how we should be, that we forget our deep self. And it is the role of the artist to remember your deep self, to find your deep self, to look for it, to let what there is be. I have this very strong sense of me. I. But where was I before I was born? And where do I go after I die? I'm this, but I'm also not this, because I close my eyes and there's a whole other me, a dark, interior, much bigger me than the one that's described by this. These objects, if you like, are a kind of pouring out of the interior, the bloody, biological, I hope ritualistic. Red does darkness, at least in my understanding of it, in ways that black can't, because it necessarily implies terror. There is, if you like, competitive danger, constantly, but constantly, in our almost every reaction. We always have a victim. It's endless, it is continual, we keep doing this. In fact, we do it to each other. One of my aims has always been to get myself out of the way. What I mean by that, come into the studio, work every single day, and allow things to emerge. When they emerge, watch them. How does it relate to what else is going on in the world? Does it relate? Does it matter? What I'm looking for is for the viewer to take part, if you like, in the memory process, in the associative, poetic process that takes place within you, rather than obviously delivering a message. Beauty's right here, right now. It is our role, our job, to recognize it. Forgive me, but I firmly believe that. That's the great thing about being human, isn't it? Thank you.